So this is my uh, first uh, lockdown project of a, uh, making a, a fly tying station. Uh, <clears throat> this one's just made out of plywood, so it's really it's a bit of a prototype, but uh, it's stained with uh, rosewood uh, uh, stain, which is not too dim, that's a bit too dark. Anyway, yeah, um, uh, first off we've got some supports in here. These are all the right sizes for the TMCO ceramic bobbins. There's some more little holes here for uh, uh, for um, um, hair stackers and the like. Uh, put some very small holes in here because I tend to use pins rather than a, a bodkin. So some little holes for, for pins along there. Uh, a couple of plastic cups at the back there and a series of um, uh, little uh, fly clips along the back. Then over on the left side here there's uh, room for um, wire and each of uh, the, the foam here I've cut little notches in here uh, so we can keep the oh, I can't do it there, no, one handed can keep the, um, <coughs> the end of the wire uh, safe a couple of little uh, trays for uh, waste or putting something else in if you like and then uh, <coughs> and the, on the front here there, is, there are four stations with um, high powered magnets underneath so just for holding the tools in place, nice and, and stable. And then another uh, less powerful magnetic mat here for uh, for hooks and the like. There's a little support here for the uh, for, uh, for the vice stand. And then at the back, I've made a, a, a little um, rack here for, um, uh, for for hooks. This is exactly the right size for the um, pulling mill. Uh, hook boxes and at the back there's a little bit of adhesive tape up that runs along the back there so that they actually stick into onto the uh, adhesive, adhesive tape at the back there so that's project number one. Oh yes and then there's a, a little um, um, feather um, uh, bender for cdc feathers to, to actually uh, uh, bend those this is actually magnetic as well so you can take it off it'll actually stick onto the uh, onto the back as well should you actually want to do so so that's version number one. Um, number two, I've got some uh, some really nice cherry wood here, planks, and some spalted beech here as well. So I think version number two is going to be much lighter in colour and uh, perhaps incorporate one or two other uh, innovative features as well. I, I just made this out of a, a little bit of padwack and uh, uh, so I think I'm going to actually put a a rebate along the, uh, the top there to actually hold something in place if it take off. Anyway, that's version number one. I'm just going to be very interested to see how it actually uh, actually works in operation. <laughs>